This is the Dead Torridor, an oil painting done by Edward Manet in 1864. We see here an image of exactly what the title suggests, a dead bullfighter. The painting is composed of a dead man on the ground, wearing achromatic clothing and holding a large piece of cloth and a sword. His posture is very stiff and there is very little gore, only a hint of blood near the man's shoulder. The background is very simple, just a solid neutral color, and there's not much else to the painting itself. This seems like a much simpler composition than much of Manet's other work, but that's because it's just part of a larger painting. That's right. This was originally just a section of a large painting that included the Toreador we see here, a bull, and spectators. This original painting was heavily critiqued for its inaccurate proportions. The bull was smaller than the man, and critics thought it looked ridiculous. Manet then decided to separate the work into this piece and another, titled The Bullfight. This wasn't Manet's only case of inaccurate proportions. Take, for instance, Munchen on the Grass, where the woman in the background is much larger than she should be, considering how far back she is. The style of the dead torridor is a little different from that of Manet's better-known works like Munchen on the Grass and Olympia. The colors are very dull, with the only hints of color being in the cloth, the man's skin, and the blood. The shapes are contoured with smooth, soft brushwork rather than the stark outline that is present in Manet's other works. Light brings attention to the man's face and chest, as does foreshortening, which brings the figure forward in space. The composition of this piece is asymmetrical, as there is much more of the man on the right side than there is on the left, mainly due to the foreshortening. However, this is balanced out by the similar, similarly sized form of the cloth on the left. The simple composition makes up for a very stark image. The viewer's eye is caught by the morbid subject matter on such a large scale. At 2 feet 6 inches by 5 foot, the man is almost life-size, and that makes the torter seem like he's actually in the room. What's really interesting about this painting is the way Manet chose to depict his subject. This painting falls into the category of realism, which means that the subject matter is realistic and everyday, not religious or mytholo mythological. The subject matter is handled with great attention to detail. The man's proportions are accurate, and the folds of the fabric are very realistic. However, a dead torador would not look like the man in this painting. Bullfighting is a very violent sport, and a man who has just been mauled by a bull would look very different. The torador would be more beaten up, dirtier, and bloodier, and he certainly wouldn't be in such a stiff position. Manet made his bullfighter look like he's in a peaceful rest, but in reality, he died a brutal, violent death. In this sense, the dead Toreador is an unrealistic depiction of a realistic subject matter and a classic example of a realist painting.